currently walking home from work in 44 degrees Celsius heat and um, it's supposed to get to like 46 or 47 degrees Celsius uh, at the beginning of this upcoming week and it's so fucking hot. I got to spend time on my trip with both of my grandparents who I haven't seen in about a year so that was really nice to see them. It was a very short amount of time. I only spent like less than eight hours with each of them but it was good to see them nonetheless and it's just important to check back in with family and thankfully all of the covid travel restrictions were lifting the exact time that i decided to go home so i didn't have any issues so I got to spend time with them and get my vehicle, which I'm very excited for. And like I have mentioned or will mention, I'm not gonna do a full car tour in this video. It's gonna be for a future video um, once I have a little bit more time and space just to regroup and start getting it all situated for car living. I think four hours into my first drive in the new vehicle. I'm in love with it so far. I have my, technically this is the first vehicle I've ever owned that's been under my name, my name only. And so that's really exciting. And I have my first license plate and all my insurance and everything is taken care of. Currently driving the eight hour trip from Northern Alberta to Southern Alberta. And then I'll be driving in nine hours um, in a few days to get back home. Yeah, it's got so much space. I'll give you a full car tour. Um, definitely once I get it all situated for van life, car living. Um, but I am excited for it and I think it's going to be exactly what I need. Like I said, it was my grandma's vehicle and she had this vehicle since 2006. She bought it new and my grandpa is really good with vehicles so they've always taken great care of it and it's a very well, look after, well looked after vehicle. <laughs>
week of a lot of travel and driving, which was really tiring. When I got to my parents' house, um, I decided that I was going to go through all of the boxes of my stuff, which is like pretty much 23 years of my life in boxes. And they have it in storage at their house, which is very nice of them to hold all of that for me. But essentially from me moving out of their home when I was 17, 18, all of my stuff from Spain, from my apartment, from my truck camper, all went into boxes and bins, all my high school stuff. So so they had a lot of it and my goal was to go through all my boxes and just try to sort out kind of reorganize what I was gonna keep for the future when I do have a place of my own to store my things um, and use them again and separate all of the stuff that I do not want and I was able to get rid slash donate a lot of it, um, but there were some things that I will try to sell in the future. I just didn't have time to do that then, so I have some bins that will stay at their place, and one day when I go back, I will sort through it and try and sell um, some of the stuff that I have. So. I was pretty much working from morning until night, going through stuff, organizing boxes and all of that, and of course seeing my parents a little bit, but that was the time that I spent with my parents at their house. I only had two nights there, and then I made the drive back. You can hear me over the fan, <laughs> but it is something like 6.15 in the morning. It's pretty early. I have traveled a lot in the past, like, three days. <laughs> I've flown. I've driven six hours north, then eight hours south, and now I'm driving about nine, nine and a half hours west. And <laughs> um, yeah, I'm pretty exhausted. I haven't really had the best sleeps the past few nights because I've been so busy with, um, like you saw my bins, unpacking and repacking. 
all of my stuff from basically the last like 23 years of my life. I just didn't have a lot of time because I have to be back because I work tomorrow um, at 7 in the morning. So I had to make my whole trip really fast, but I was able to see my grandparents, pick up my car, see my parents. Basically, I'm just gonna get ready and then I need to go fill up with gas. I still have about five hours of driving to go, so I would like to start earlier than later um, just because I don't wanna get home too late and I would like to have the afternoon just to relax, um, catch up with my boyfriend and yeah, I just prepare myself for tomorrow. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, I'm just pretty exhausted though. And um, it's been a long trip. I'm, oh, <laughs> I wish that I could have done it at a different time so I didn't have to do it quite so rushed. I need to find a gas station to go to and then, then I'm on my way. <laughs> So I'm still driving. Um, I only have about probably 30 to 45 minutes left. I'm getting closer to home and it's so um, it's so incredibly smoky already and I haven't talked about this in this video but we've had in Western Canada unprecedented um, heat and we've had a heat wave for the last week um, the hottest temperature uh, broke records in a small town uh, north on in the west and I believe it was 49.1 degrees Celsius or basically 50 degrees Celsius and the town the other day caught fire and is completely leveled. There's nothing left in that town. There are, I believe, like 16 or 17 forest fires right now. Um, some of them are under control, some of them are not. But basically, this is what we had happen last year, and forest fires are expected in our area. But last year wasn't until August when things got really bad and um, everything is just happening early because I mean climate change and what do you expect so it's it's been the high 48 degrees Celsius for the past week and we had um, like less than a day of rain all spring and summer so yeah, it's really bad, but I'm just getting closer and I'm noticing all the smoke and it's just incredibly hazy. And um, this is part of the reason why I'm very excited to be moving soon. And um, yeah, I think it's gonna be really bad. All of these fires and the heat wave started in June. So we're basically like three months ahead of where forest fires and this kind of heat usually is. So there's a lot of people that have died because of the heat and then now because of the forest fires, um, people's homes are being destroyed and lives are being lost there. Not to mention all of the animals. Um, I think in some parts of the province it's, it's gotten so hot that animals are literally dropping dead out of the trees like squirrels and birds and um, I can't imagine that it's <laughs> any better for deer and the ground dwelling animals so it's kind of scary I don't know we'd have to make huge changes <laughs> in our society to I don't know change this but it's yeah it's looking pretty nuts I'm finally back home. It's been a busy few days. Like I said, I had to get back 
home so that I could go to work and I had three days straight of work after I got back and it was still <laughs> extremely hot. It's been a few days. I'm settled in back at home again and we are back in the process of cleaning out and moving our stuff. All in all, it was a good trip and although it was really fast, I feel like it was very productive and I got done pretty much everything that I wanted to besides seeing some people but I will save that for a future trip and it was very exciting to get everything with my vehicle uh, all settled and organized. The whole future of going back to live in the vehicle is much more exciting um, especially because this time I'm going at it with more knowledge of things that I can do better. For now, this is pretty much the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little travel vlog and kind of the start to this whole car living adventure again. Yeah, one month to the day. It's um, July 7th, so one month before we move out and time is going by very fast. But that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe so you can see more about my vehicle and the adventures and I'll see you guys next video.